People are speaking out with concerns over the publication of private voter information in a couple of central Illinois newspapers. As Madison Porter shows us, experts say voters don't have to be scared, but they do say the situation is infuriating. For weeks, at least two Republican publications have been releasing voter information, including names, birth dates, addresses, and whether or not central Illinois voters participated in the 2020 election. Really angering um, from a, a political science perspective in terms of both research ethics uh, and privacy. Illinois State University political professor Megan Leonard says it's an invasion of someone's privacy. And she adds even though the information doesn't include the actual vote, it raises concerns about the safety of a vote. So you have the right to vote. You have the right not to vote. These are all political statements that people make. Um, and we are under the impression when we vote that that information is private and protected. Leonard emphasizes that the release of this information shouldn't push voters away from participating in November, but it can be scary in terms of political violence. McLean County Democratic Chair Patrick Cortese says the information release crosses a line. We're seeing extremism, um, if I'm being fair, you know, on both sides uh, of, of politics, and, and I don't think there's any room for that. I don't think there's uh, any reason or, or need to, to jump to those extremes. Cortese adds he'd like to see politics get back to a time where it isn't as divided, so we don't see attempts, like this one, he says, to discourage voters. Whoever you know ended up releasing that information and why they chose to publish it, I think that's probably the bigger question. The McLean County clerk says releasing the information is not illegal, but frowned upon in politics. In Peoria, I'm Madison Porter, 25 News.